I really am normal and that anybody else like me is normal because there's not an actual good definition for what normal is because everybody's different in their own way. So I'm not really different and I'm not really normal just like nobody else is. When she was born, she was missing her tibias. And so we originally went to Chicago to Shriners um, and they said, if you want a second opinion, we know this really great doctor, Dr. Buckery, um, and I happen to be from Grand Rapids, which is way closer to us than Chicago. Two months we came kind of for just the first initial meet everybody consult and then we didn't do anything until six months and Dr. Buck Reed did the surgery. They amputated through the knees um, and then even after that it was kind of a waiting game while she healed and grew enough to really start getting mobile and then at that point she was fitted for her first prosthesis and, and that was even a journey. She had almost just fit over her leg with really nothing else to it and then eventually we added a foot and then added a basic knee and just have continued to add. Um, how would you rate that pain that you're experiencing on a scale of one to 10? Well, I think we're still trying to figure out where the pain is coming from. There's so many different factors. And I think the hard thing, knowing Ella since she was a baby, is that this is, this is new. She's never had anything really like this before. She's always been very independent and done things and not really had an issue. And so it was kind of at a point where we're trying to figure out if this is something that's being caused by her prosthesis. Is it just caused by you know, your age? Is it caused by activity? Um, you know, when kids wear prostheses for a long time, that can um, kind of wear on their body a little bit. Um, so we just try, we're just trying to figure out how we can make it better. It was yesterday that a screw fell out of my leg and I had to go down to the office and be like, I need a screwdriver because the screw just fell out of my leg and like, <laughs> so I got, yeah, that, the teacher I was in, he was great about it and it was funny, just, I was just casually walking around like, where are you going? Like, oh, the office screw fell out of my leg, just, a lot of the kids in my grade, they're, I'm in eighth grade now, they're used to me, but sometimes the sixth graders are a little bit weird about that. <laughs> I've been falling a lot recently, but I did get new feet over the summer, so that could be it. We're trying to separate falls, you know, what's causing the falls, and we're not even talking about the pain right now, that's another issue, and we're going to address that. But um, we want to know why you're falling. Is this a problem with the components? Is something not balanced? Or is it just, you're, like I said, your coordination hasn't quite caught up with your new height? From your perspective, pain's pain, and it's all one big lump, okay? It's just pain. Make it better. But you may have two or three different things going on. i got to try to tease it out and see what's what, okay? Does your back hurt when you first wake up in the morning? Sometimes. Every day or just once a while? A lot. A lot. Okay. The other huge part is that we see a team. So it's not like we see this doctor and this therapist. It's everybody's kind of collaborating and figuring out what the best option is for her. And that's been huge. I consider it nothing short of an honor to work here. I'm not sure who gets more out of this experience, me or the patients. And I was trained as a pediatric orthopedic surgeon, but to me this is being a physician. We're, we're addressing all components of, of the patient, the psychological, the social, the um, clearly the physical aspects, um, but we're, we're trying to help them succeed in life. It's quite a challenge for everybody, and we're working together with the family. I mean, the family's part of the team as far as I'm concerned, and um, it's just, uh, just going to be a very rewarding experience. I think it's fabulous. I hope they're around forever, because there are definitely a lot of kids that and parents that need that kind of support. They're doing a really good thing here.